What is up my riders? So today I decided that I was going to do a video since I posted something on Twitter and Instagram and this is going to be kind of just straight to the point as possible because I've done a lot of videos like this before but hopefully it can help a lot of you guys out. This is technically day four of me tapering. This is going to be a decision that I make uh, and don't go back on and the reason why I'm recording is also partially because of that because it's hard for me to remember how I feel once I get off of something and I feel so accomplished and then I forget why necessarily I got off of that medication. And this is in no way saying that you should do this. I'm just giving you guys a look in my first person of like what's happening with me going through like the withdrawals and stuff. Honestly, Paxil is an amazing drug. Um, it is the only pharmaceutical antidepressant that has ever helped me. Personally, the rest just made my brain all funky and not really help at all. Um, and I know a lot of people that use Paxil and don't get the type of side effects that I do. But unfortunately, um, I am getting old and to be 25 here in like a month. And I have no testosterone at all or maybe it's libido. It's one of the two. All even close to when I was off antidepressants. And I was off antidepressants completely about a year and a half ago. Um, and I felt completely different as soon as I get on antidepressants. I know for a fact it's Paxil. I also cannot lose weight at all, um, no matter how much I try to fight. I'm most likely fighting the weight gain, so it just keeps me around the same amount. Um, I did a video recording this morning just to prove. With the taper, um, it's been, like I said, I think this is the fourth day. I made the mistake of trying to stop earlier and uh, it didn't go too well. These brain zaps, that's the worst thing that I get and a lot of people, like I said, don't even get withdrawal on antidepressants if they come off. Um, Paxil is one of the worst ones. It makes you instantly feel like you're gonna pass out and it causes nausea. It's the craziest feeling ever and it's super hard to explain already three days of a taper missing a taper and i felt that i will also say if you're going down the journey and you found this video because of what i'm doing the only two things and make sure that this is safe for you to take but the only two things that ever helped me are something with antihistamine so something that helps allergies so i take allegra and i take benadryl um, and if I take a Benadryl, I'm only taking a half so that I don't get tired and fall asleep. That helps a lot with the brain zaps. Um, the goal with my taper is to get as much out of the five milligram coming from a 10 milligram to a five. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully be able to withstand that into a week and then I will be able to go from a week down. And then from the week, I will be able to discontinue the medication at all. I literally sweat so much. Last night I woke up in a pool of sweat and I have these crazy dreams and stuff. So that's something to look forward to. But if I can force my way into like a workout or something, it usually lasts. My game plan for getting off of antidepressants, the main reason why I never needed meds until mid high school is because I gave up on weightlifting and that was my outlet for uh, releasing stress and stuff. And I'm finding that out through like hanging out with my cousin and stuff, him doing the same things. Also avoiding extreme amounts of caffeine, uh, bad trigger things for panic attacks. And I know for a fact I've gotten panic attacks before from just caffeine in itself. High levels of caffeine, stuff like that really make my anxiety worse. But what I was able to do when I was younger is I could just get a good workout session in and that would help my anxiety. It was as good or better. Um, once I lost motivation, I kind of fell out of that rhythm and then became anxious, depressed, got on medication. So I'm going to try to reverse that way of thinking and try to get off my medication and just work out for extra stress relief, but I'm also going to try to use low dosages of ashwagandha, which I've tried in the past, and it worked really well, except I was going to a higher level of ashwagandha. So with most ashwagandha, you can go up to like 2,000 milligrams, uh, which is two to three pills, depending on the pot potency and everything like that. I normally am good at like five to 600 range, and if I go higher, I get these extreme bouts of like hunger where nothing where nothing satisfies my hunger, pretty much just like Paxil. My main goal is to use the ashwagandha to help with the stress and it balances 
or lowers cortisol, which is the stress hormone. And it does seem to really help me with a lot of things. Uh, and it did before in the past, but like I said, my main goal is to lose weight and get my metabolism back. So basically with this being said, I'm going to stay on a low dosage of ashwagandha to help my mental state, but I'm going to rely heavily on working out and stuff. Today being the fourth day, you don't really notice the withdrawal as much. I would say on the first couple days, my brain kind of just felt foggy. Today, I, like I said, I'm sweating even sitting here. I'm having like crazy sweats and stuff. The only thing that I've been taking is the antihistamine and the ashwagandha, um, and I am taking it in safe amounts. I'm not going above or beyond what you're supposed to take, and that has seemed for the first three days at least to almost obliterate any type of withdrawal. And the reason why I'm experiencing withdrawal today is because of tapering off of the Paxil. So I am going to keep that taper for the next like week. And then once I can get off completely, um, I will be updating you guys with videos every week or so on how I feel, but I do not plan on like uploading constantly like I normally do or try to upload constantly until I feel better. Um, I will upload, like I said, my stretching ear video. I'm still doing them and I'm almost complete with that. To just give you guys an idea, I want to be as transparent also with you and hopefully this can maybe help someone get through withdrawal um, that is going through the exact same thing as me uh, because it's not that fun. Today, my mind did not feel great when I woke up. I had crazy dreams. I woke up in a pool of sweat, like insane pool of sweat, and um, I woke up at the brain zap, so obviously the taper is a good thing to consider. Um, all said and done, and I also took um, Benadryl before I fell asleep last night, so I shouldn't have woken up with that. Benadryl should have helped, the antihistamine should have helped, but um, the taper's not long enough, so that's something you wanna consider too, and definitely talk to your doctors and figure out what's best for you. Don't take advice directly from me, but I know that a taper is a normal thing that every doctor recommends, and that's always what they've done for me, and I've done this so many times I know what they'd recommend anyways, because they've recommended it. With that being said, the main goal, like I said, is to be healthy get my metabolism back and uh, not necessarily rely on medication because the longer that I rely on medication too, the longer I realize that the me medication slowly stops working and I'm not gonna be able to take pa uh, Paxil for the rest of my life to rely on something to help me. Uh, I want to be able to work past my anxieties and stuff with physical fitness and that way I don't have to worry also about losing my libido completely because like I said I'm going to be turning 25 and that is a crazy mind fuck that uh, five years I'll be 30 so that in itself is something crazy I want to make sure that my body is also healthy um, I'm technically in like my prime for uh, testosterone and libido and stuff like that you're in a good spot still until you hit like above 30. So I want to enjoy it while I still can. And uh, if you guys have any questions already, um, leave them down below and I'll continually update you guys on how each like installment each week feels for um, getting off. And it, it usually takes two to three, maybe four weeks for the withdrawal. So I'll update as much as possible um, during this time, probably once every week. So I love you guys. Make sure to be happy, stress less. I'll see you in the next one as always.